I don't think where I am needs any introduction whatsoever. I'm here in San Francisco, California, and behind me is the beautiful Golden Gate Bridge. The city is behind you in that sort of direction. Now, San Francisco may be a major city, but it doesn't have any direct mainline railway service. There's a few regional lines that connect around the city, but in terms of long distance rail, there isn't really anything here. That you have to head across the bay to Oakland. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're taking the Coast Starlight train from here in San Francisco, right the way up the west coast of America, to Seattle in Washington, in the Pacific Northwest. I'm really looking forward to taking this train. It's gonna have some amazing scenery. I've been looking forward to this for absolutely months. Their stop was to get across to Oakland to catch the train. This was a task easier said than done. The traffic was absolutely horrendous. It took us well over an hour to get from downtown San Francisco to Oakland. We soon arrived in downtown Oakland, but in the end it turned out we needn't have rushed. Here then at Jack London Square in Oakland, which is the station here where the Amtrak Coast Starlight goes from to take us up to Seattle. Um, the train is due to be leaving in about an hour, but actually it's currently running at about a five and a half hour delay. Yay! And I thought the British trains were about five and a half hour delay so far. Um, on our train up to Seattle, which means it's not going to be leaving until the early hours of the morning. Um, and the station is really weird because the trains are literally going along the streets. Um, so they kind of leave the station and then go along at street level. So uh, let's go and see what we can do for a few hours until our train leaves. Hey, how are you? Hey, we're on the coast starlight. Okay. Um, but just heads up, it's really late. Yeah, yeah, okay, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we've seen that. We've had the okay. emails. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we were hoping so. to just drop the bags and then maybe just do something else for a yeah, few no hours. <laughs> right now, it's showing 142. 142. It's getting later. Then. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. But it should. They're in San Luis Obispo right now. Okay. So. Keep an, keep an eye on it yeah we'll keep an eye on the app and everything so yeah lovely thank you very much all right i think it's fair to say that oakland station is not the nicest place to spend an evening in hindsight we'd probably have been better getting a hotel for a few hours but by the time we realized that it was getting pretty late anyway now 1.30 in the morning. How are you doing? Uh, a bit tired. And by that I mean a lot. A lot um, tired. We're all tired, aren't we? Yeah. As soon as we we've only got another half an hour until we got on the plane. Half an hour. Train. Train. Yeah. Yeah, we've got half an hour until we get on, so. So as soon as we get on there we'll be sleeping, I think, won't we? Yep. At last there was the sound of a train horn and the lights of our train came into view. It turned out that the reason for the delay was tremendously sad. The train had hit a pedestrian in Los Angeles. The delay was frustrating but when we found out the reason why it put it all into perspective. Hey, it's 14.30, uh, room 15. Oh, how horrible. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Hey. Uh, tomorrow, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. Tomorrow breakfast is on at 6.30 in the morning. Okay. Uh, until about 9, 9.30. Okay. Um, first come, first serve, no reservation required. The longer you wait, the less a selection you have. Okay. okay. Lovely. But, but then lunch is on at 12. Okay. 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 Lovely. You have Thank a shower you. here. Thank okay. you. Hey, not bad. Ooh, oh, a little bit snug, but... Well, of course it is. Hey? Yeah, it will be. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, this is the 
Yeah, so we are finally on the train, the Coast Starlight. It is half past two in the morning. Just pulling out of Oakland Station. First impressions are the room is really decently sized. Do more of a kind of run through of the room in the morning once we've all had a bit of sleep. The first impressions are it's pretty decent. Is everybody happy? Yeah. Mostly. Yeah. Mostly. Rich hasn't got much room at the end on that bed. I'm kind of sprawled out on here. We'll have to figure out what we're doing with that situation. <laughs> Coast Starlight route winds the length of the west coast. It starts in Los Angeles, heading up the coast of California to San Francisco. From there it heads inland through northern California and past Mount Shasta. It passes into Oregon and heads up through the mountains to Portland. After Portland it heads through the Cascade Mountains into Seattle, taking just over 34 hours to complete the journey. As we rolled out of Oakland, we pulled into an Amtrak depot where they had to replace one of the trains following the events down in Los Angeles. I fell asleep in the Oakland depot. When I woke up, we were still in California and passing through the town of Reading. It's the morning and I've got some stunning scenery out the window. We're running about five and a half hours late now. I think we've not slept too bad. Apart from Rach over there who ended up on a kiddie bed overnight. How are you feeling this morning? Sore. Sore, aching. Um, Sam, how are you feeling, mate? Uh, a bit tired, but I like this place. Let's just have a quick look around the room. So right about, so we've got these, first and foremost is the beds which we've folded up now. Um, and to make the seats, and they make four really nice seats in this family accommodation. We have a little tray table which kind of pops out like this. And that's your eat dinner and stuff on there. There's a rubbish bin down in the corner. We have a cupboard which contains the ladders now for the upper bunk, and there's a few towels and things in there. No bathroom in here, um, the bathroom you go down the corridor for, which is kind of outside. We have power here, we've got a US plug which we've got an adapter into. We have controls for the music and the lights and for the um, announcements which seem to come through all overnight, don't they? Um, yeah. Every station we get to they make an announcement for it and of course it makes you obviously not turn the volume down. Um, air conditioning up there which you can control, coats up and things up on that wall there. Um, by the beds we have these controls which we have off the little light and there is temperature controls. I've turned that right up because it was really cold overnight and other than that it's not too bad it's pretty spacious and pretty yeah. comfortable now. So we're rolling into um, Dunsmore, California now. We're about five hours and 35 minutes behind schedule now, uh, which is great because it means we get to experience more of this scenery in daylight. Heading north through California, we pass through the forest to the south of Mount Shasta. Thanks to the delay, we got a great view of Mount Shasta in daylight. Usually the starlight passes during darkness, so we were pretty lucky. As we left Mount Shasta behind, we headed for the border with Oregon. Amtrak's sleeper cars are on two floors. Downstairs are family rooms, accessible rooms and bathrooms, and upstairs are more coachettes. There's coffee available at the top of the stairs, complimentary for sleeper passengers. Meals in the dining car are included for sleeper passengers too, and are really good quality. Yeah. Okay, um, could I please have the garden salad? Okay. Just waiting for our dinner, our lunch rather. 
some stunning views out of the window. Quite good, Sam. Is that nice? I haven't tried it yet. The coach section of the train was pretty busy today. I have mentioned this in my previous Amtrak video, but I really wouldn't recommend taking a coach seat on trains of this length. The observation car gives you some great views and it's a good place to sit for a few hours watching the world go by. Pretty soon we were arriving into the first station in Oregon, Klamath Falls. Right, so we're here then at Klamath Falls, Oregon. It's a stop for a few minutes while they change trains and change the crew. We've just come out a little bit of fresh air. Uh, Rachel's gone back to sleep and we were under strict orders from the awesome cabin attendant to uh, leave her be for an hour, aren't we? Oh, he's given us a different room to go and sit in while we let mum go and get some sleep. Um, but we're going to get back on the train and head across further north into Oregon then. Daddy, can we go up to the lounge? Um, Where is the lounge? The lounge is upstairs and three coaches down. I can show you okay, the bottom. Let's go. Yeah, let's you want to go, go sit over there? Yeah, yeah. let's go. We headed to the observation car for a couple of hours while we let Rach catch up on some sleep back in her room. Some of the towns here in Oregon are really tiny. We climbed the mountains in the centre of Oregon as we saw yet more fantastic scenery. Pretty soon we were pulling into Eugene, Oregon for our second fresh air break of the trip. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Here then at Eugene, Oregon. One of the last daylight stops and it is a beautiful, beautiful summer evening here. Not sure how much daylight we've got left but from here it's up to Portland and then across to Seattle in Washington. move again and we headed down to dinner. Dinner. Right, dinner time. What are we looking at? You're looking at the lunch menu there. You can either have the hot dog or the mac and cheese again. Hot dog or mac and cheese, guys. Mac and cheese. Uh, I think I'll have the um, hot dog again, Hot dog again. Two hot dogs in a day? Yep. Is that like the most 90s thing oh ever? Goodness, that is so good. Dude. <laughs> But we've kind of moved on 30 years since then. Yeah, this is the extent of my art. <laughs> Tonight I opted for the delicious signature steak, which is in my opinion the best meal that you can have on the rails here in the US. Okay, so we are all back from dinner. The time now is 7.50 p.m. We should have been arriving into Seattle about 20 minutes ago, but obviously with all the delays that have just got worse, the longer and longer we've gone on, it's gonna be closer to one o'clock in the morning before we arrive there. So at the moment, we're just in Salem, Oregon. We've just left there with around another three, four hours to go until we get into Seattle. So we've put the beds up again. We're gonna try and get some sleep 
ahead of our arrival into Seattle because we have two tyre big ones of course and two tyre big ones um, as well so we're going to try and get a little bit of sleep before we get into Seattle. As the sun started setting in the west, we pulled into Portland, Oregon. By the time we left Portland, it was night time and we crossed the border into Vancouver, Washington. I set an alarm to go off at 1am and when I woke up, we were coasting through the suburbs of Seattle. We pulled into Seattle just before 1.30 a.m., just over five and a half hours late. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a Thank good day. You. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, so we're here then at Seattle. 1.30 in the morning, about five and a half, six hours late. But we are here. Are you glad to be here? Yeah. Oh, we're glad to get to bed. Yeah, me too. Oh, I love it. Let's go and we need to go and claim our bags and then we'll get a cab across to the hotel. So aside from the crazy delays, it wasn't actually a bad trip up. Once we were on board the train, I think it was just a really nice way of getting up the coast. It was just that initial delay that we had problems with, of course, and obviously the delay into Seattle as well, but these things can't be helped. And we had a really nice trip up. Some amazing scenery, great views all the way up here from Oakland near San Francisco up to Seattle. Let me know what you thought to the Coast Starlight train down in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I'm off to get some sleep. So take care and I'll see you next time here on In A Fire Video.